Folks, come on over. We're doing a reveal from the repair video. Check it out. It might be surprising. Why would you bother? Come on over and look right here on my take on Home and Garden. You gotta see this one. And some of you have been asking. Now I wanna tell you real quick, we're not gonna do a repair video for one or two things. So as I collect them, which it's been a while, I'm gonna put them together and we'll compile a repair video. Some things you'll see at the end are not finished because they just came in broke. <laughs> From our wonderful friends and our not so wonderful post office. <laughs> Sorry, but let's get on with it. I think Carolyn Wiseletter, a real sweetheart friend, she's... <laughs> She heard me say in a video, I don't mind repairing this and that, and so what do you do? I, I get a text from her. Jeff, I've got a cabinet full of stuff like that. I thought she meant, you know, vintage collectibles and old stuff. She said, you can have it all as soon as I find the key to my cabinet. So she sent it all, all right. A whole box of broken things <laughs> now i'm teasing because not everything was broken and they were really sweet and i'm going to show you why anybody would want to fix the things that i fixed today i think you'll you'll agree now i just go after stuff and start fixing okay i wasn't even thinking with this first one this first one sweetest little maiden bavaria Creamer with strawberries. See, I don't even have to look. I look to make sure I'm saying the right thing. This right here on this side, and Carolyn will vouch for me, hit a big chip out of it. I mean a flake, like a corn flake. <laughs> I read, fixed the porcelain and repainted the rim, and I think it's real close. She can tell you in the comments, if you don't want to believe the repair here, let's start with that one. Okay, now another one from Carolyn, and this is the sweetest little pea you ever did see. Look at this beauty. It looks like a little bouquet. It is a Truia. That's a name I'm not familiar with, but it is English. And it's a floral by Wedgwood, but Etruria, England. That's a town I have never heard of. You UKers will recognize it. Now again, this, let's find the spot. Right in here, see these two risers, two big, chips out of there. Anybody else would have went, okay, hello, see you later. <laughs> I couldn't do it. This is the sweetest little English sugar bowl. And again, guys, it's all fixed. I think, I don't think I have any footage of working on this piece, but here it is. And I'm gonna run over real quick and show you why I had to fix this. And if Angela puts a ribbon up and says 10 minutes later with a lemon hanging, that is baloney. So she's not doing that again to me. <laughs> Here it is, the matching creamer. Okay, with nothing wrong. Let me make sure, Carolyn, because you're a doozy. No, nope. oh, just a little wee little flick. And I can fix that, but just a flick, to flea bite. No big deal. Look at them together, guys. It's typical English stoneware. 
Look how sweet. Oh, Wedgwood, you know. We gotta keep it. We gotta fix it. And I think it's come out pretty good. Check it out, guys. It came out really sweet. Kind of proud of that one, too. Here is another one from Carolyn. Now, you'll see a lot of this in the video, and you'll get to see that this was really in trouble. All right, guys, here's that magnificent Japanese cup and saucer from Carolyn. Now, I want to show you here where the two big chunks were out. See, you can see the discoloration. Now, I've glued them back in, and I've put a couple of coats of my contour putty. And I'm going to sand that with wet sandpaper. And you want to use about even up to a thousand grit. Okay, now here I've mixed matched the enamel paint red, white, and a little blue, just a dot, and trying to get that color match you see here. Now for you folks that talk like you were interested in really fixing some of the things you had, here's the best thing I can tell you. Once you get it repaired back together and smooth, you're not gonna stop at the old paint job. That's an obvious fix and it doesn't look good. So my trick is you're going to paint all the way. You're going to paint the repair. Okay, but then you're going to go all the way around the rim. Because it's absolutely going to match then. Now I've just touched a little tiny hair of black in with my white to give that old porcelain look. And you see here again, I'm gonna paint all the way around. You can stop at that edge. It's a shadow anyway inside, you see? Now, here's another trick for you. When you're trimming in gold, nobody's got, I don't care if you're an artist, you don't have a laser beam fine paintbrush okay so here I'm showing that you're gonna just dabble along with a flat brush that will give you the best result again most people whew, right out of here the only thing I had to do to the saucer was put the gold rim back okay and I'm real happy with that you see that right here in the video now, this was amazing to me. Uh, obviously, it's a four-footed teacup, very unusual, unmarked. It is a stamp into the porcelain. I'm 95% sure it's Japanese because of what I see. And I think you'll agree, guys, this looks awfully good compared to the way I got it. And I showed in the repair part of the video two big chunks were out of the rim of this. Okay? Undeniable that it needed to be saved. The beauty of the thing, you see the porcelain, of course, another reason we want it, but it's so unusual so unique. I know Carolyn's going to get a huge kick out of all this work she sent me. <laughs> but Carolyn, we still think you're wonderful and we thank you for the goodies. This one did take a little bit of saving time. But look at it. That's the joy and I love it. So saved from the junk pile. Now, you could say, well, Jeff, you know, what good is it it's, if it's repaired and, you know, you can't sell it like that? Two, two thoughts on that for you. When it's broke, 
you're not selling it, no. But now that it's beautiful again, you're not gonna fool a professional. You're not gonna fool somebody that knows their collections. We're not here to fool anybody, but we're here to save beautiful things, keep it in the collection, and if you wanted to sell it, you can sell it with a repair. You simply state, this is X amount with a repair. That's the difference. I've bought things with a repair. I love them. 99% the same as something without a repair. So that's how I think about it. This next piece, oh man. Heart of Hearts had to have it. I found this on eBay. It's been quite a little while. You'll see how rough it was. Now here guys, I'm showing that the handle arrived broken off and someone put it back on. So there's three breaks here. One, two, three. It's a beautiful Bavarian piece properly marked and stamped and I just had to save it. You see the gold is all missing. I'm going to put that back. This is gold enamel. On the bigger pieces some of it is not enamel and it is just put back with the latex and uh, a brush or a sponge. This I wanted the enamel it's tougher, it looks more realistic in this case. You see this fabulous piece coming back to life. Now originally, I think it was detailed in, in the gold, but to help make that seam go away, I'm gonna do the whole handle in gold. And I think you'll agree, when you see this done, It's absolutely exquisite, and now that it's finished, guys, you tell me. Made in Bavaria, wonderful strawberries. Just missed the strawberry table. Hmm, might have to squeeze it in somewhere, right? It is glorious. Is it porcelain? I'm sure it is. I can see the glow inside without leaning over. We know it's porcelain. With my repair, that picture, Kramer, is worth probably three or four times what I paid for it on eBay. It had a broken handle and it was repaired and the guy didn't know it, or he acted like he didn't know it. So I left it alone. I said, I still want it. In fact, he just about begged me to send it back because he said they don't do that and they don't well you missed one okay and I didn't give him marks against that at all I said I I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna fix it right okay this thing is fixed so right good luck you pros if you could tell that it ever had a problem because I did so much work on this the broken handle and layer and layer and layer and layer and paint and coat and coat and coat till it looks like this some things you know you're going to spend a ton of time and some you're going to just spend a little time here's a little beauty i think we showed and miss deb over at blue springs vintage she's so darn cute she has a table outside the front door that says free. So if they have a mishap, they get a nick, a ding, a chunk out of something, a, you know, a sliver, they put it out on this table for free. So when I went to film the store, I asked her, you know, I'm a customer too. Can I have this? Yeah, she said. I took that, put the corner back, matched the paint up, I think pretty darn good. And here's the result of that. Now I think 
It's a woman's dresser piece. It could be for gloves, it could be for handkerchiefs, it could be for combs. To me, it looks like a napkin holder, but the design looks like a woman's dresser set to me. So, tell me what you think in the comments. What else we got? I wanted to show you real quick too. You've seen these, but I've never talked about when I bought these. Okay, how I got such a buy on them at all. This one, incredible. Now we've seen them for $90. We've seen them for over $100 in some of the nice stores we go visit. When I bought this, it had a broken flower petal here on top and her little drum stick, which they just kind of beat the drum like this with that. It's real short and fat like a salt shaker, really, okay? Okay, guys, now here I'm showing that the the flower petal was broke off and missing. Okay, also, I'm going to mix the paint here in an enamel to match. And her little drum stick was broke off as well. So you can see that here, too. So I've mixed my paint. Check it out. They kind of do this, beat that drum. I just fixed those, and you saw it in the repair. And I want to tell you, does that look like it was repaired to anybody? You can't tell. I even touched up the original guy that painted this. I touched up some of his stuff. And I was chewing them out. I said, man, I can do better than that. You got black in, on the flower. You got pink in her hair, black hair. I mean, <laughs> they're just fabulous. And it's a lot of work. And I'm teasing. But now I really love it. Because there's nothing wrong with her at all now. Let me show you the next one. Now, there's three more and one's a clock you know and it's a pair of ladies there was nothing wrong with those three these two and they didn't get broke here okay we didn't break them but when i bought these they had this little damage this one her little pinky and the end of the flute was broke off then i painted the flute and her pinky and I think she looks really, really good. <laughs> We're going to move this. We'll put her up here anyway. And move on to the next one. This little angel was sad. Because when I was decorating for just this summer living room. I reached for something and hit it and it went on the hard tile floor and you saw the pieces right it didn't get thrown out because i know i'm gonna fix it it broke in three pieces okay now it's just ceramic but it's just a wonderful little piece and i had to fix it it took nothing to fix this i probably have 15 minutes in fixing it, the whole bit. Okay, you saw me in the video. I like the gel super glue. I don't think it matters whose. I've used the Gorilla Glue, now I got Scotch. I've used the blue and yellow one, whoever that is. Yeah, but I'm telling you two things. The gel because it won't run 
And then my other secret, I don't know what it says on the tube, I don't care, I don't have to read it anymore, you know what I mean? Put the glue on one piece, not both. Put the two pieces together, pull it back apart, let it get some air. They act like you can glue it up and have it running down your arm and you slap that together and it's there forever. No, no, you got to give it some air. Count to 10, 12, 15, doesn't matter. Then put them back together and I mean, buddy, hold them as tight as you can stand it for 30 seconds. Even if your finger is sticking to it, Carefully get your finger off. It's not going to rip your finger off and tear the skin off that bad. And you get that hand away and that's on there till it gets hit stupid again. <laughs> like it got broke in the first place. It's on there. I mean, that's my best two things to tell you. Then, the first painting, just fill the crack. Match the paint as good as you can and fill the crack like you're still gluing. If the glue is above the crack, scrape it off, cut it off, or sand it off with a wet sandpaper. Now this one you saw, kinda. And you talk about, was it worth doing? I have more time in this one than all of them put together. Now guys, this is my pride and joy. You see the big lip piece that was missing. It's obvious this piece of porcelain that I had saved from pieces from a broken teacup, I'm going to use and rejuvenate this vase with that, it's pretty spectacular to see the transformation. I'm gonna take my contour putty, once that's super glued and hard as a rock, I'm taking my contour putty and doing layer and layer over the joint and the crack and especially along the edge here now to get a proper acceptable shape. Here I reminded myself that's the second build-up coat <laughs> on my uh, high-tech board there, uh, spiral paper. <laughs> Here I'm sanding in between and I think you can really get a good look at Here's my contour putty again, another build-up coat. You see, it's starting to look like more of a leaf, like the other sides of the throat of the vase. You have about one minute to work with this stuff. It, it's gonna set up that fast. And I love it because it sets up probably harder than the original porcelain. That's why it works good. Here you can see, basically, the shape is back. There's the little piece with the corner missing that I showed you putting the contour putty on to finish. That little kerchief holder dresser piece. Now the other concern here is it's not going to be exact. They made these vases by hand. So the left side leaf is not going to be exactly the same as the right side leaf, whether I did it or they did it, regardless. Here I'm painting underneath and filling in the distress spots with paint. Here I'm dabbling Okay, that's more, it's more proper to blend that new color and you want to get all the way around. Here I'm doing the gold on the edge.
I'm redoing the handles. I hand did the bottom as well. Here you can see I'm in here with the detail brush. Now you're really going to get to see this course when I show it at the end at the table. Okay, it is staggering. Anybody that knows our Austrian vase collection, why did I bother? This is how I bought it with the whole piece broke up. I saw it at the flea and I said to the guy, oh man, I want that so bad. I said, what a shame, it's broke. He said, it is. He looked at it, he goes, oh my goodness, I must have just done that bringing it here. <laughs> oh, I wanted to hit him with it. Yeah, <laughs> you broke that bringing it here? He said, I must have, it wasn't broke when I bought it. I said, oh my God, I'm gonna be sick. I said, I, I, I'd buy that in a minute. So he went over to his car. Let me see if I can find the piece. He's looking for the piece. And if he didn't ding the bottom, he took another little half moon piece out of that. I fixed that. You're not going to see that part. I, I said, you're kidding. He said, look at, I'm, now I really want to hit him, right? He said, I'm going to give it to you before I totally destroy the thing. Well, I'm not going to do that. To, I mean, that's nice. I said, I'll give you five for it for lunch. Oh, good. Okay. He says, I got to get away from this before I break it in half. So it's funny. But fixing it was not funny. Tell me what you think of what you see in the video of my approach to fixing it. Now I'm convinced, brand new, the sides are not exact. This style that's like a leaf, a folded leaf or an acanthus leaf, you know, the sides are hand configured and they're not exact. So I had a broken porcelain teacup I've been saving for parts and pieces, and this is what I first glued on there. You're going to laugh because it looked ridiculous. But I built that up, build it up, dry, build it up, let it dry, sand, build it up again, sand, let build it up again until you see what you got in the toward the end of finishing this guys i'm nuts about it i redid the gold top and bottom you saw i even used a detail brush it's just staggering beautiful this is a piece probably from the 30s i saved it from that guy <laughs> and i saved it from the trash and folks, I have $5 invested in this. If you liked our video and enjoyed it at all, give us a like, a share, a comment, tell a friend. Tell them there's something wrong with them if they're not coming over to watch. Because we have a lot of fun and we have a big, huge, wonderful family here. And I'm sorry, all you other channels, I'm going to apologize right now because we have the best friends and subscribers on the globe right here on my take on home and garden. I got to get out of here before I get choked up. Take care, everybody. Happy, happy summer. Until the next amazing over-the-top repair collector video decorate with me. Bye guys. See you soon.